Three years after Christian's suspicious suicide, it seems like the Andriacchios have finally caught a break. Meridian, Mississippi replaced Chief James Lee, and a new detective was assigned to look at the mountain of evidence the family has gathered to prove this was a murder. According to private investigator Max Mays, it appeared justice was finally within reach. He did a thorough, unbiased investigation. And his conclusion was, according to what he have told us, this was a homicide. Did he document that? I'm not sure. We, we, we've talked with him, but he says this is not a suicide, this is a homicide. Matter of fact, he got warrants for the arrest of the two individuals of whom we speak. Those two individuals are Whitley Goodman and Dillian Swearingen and Crime Watch Daily talked directly to Judge R. Jones, who told us he did indeed sign active warrants for both of them to be arrested for murder. If these are active warrants, why aren't these two in custody? I have no idea. Not up to me. If it was up to me, they would have been in custody three years ago. It's the burning question, and here's the answer, according to the Mississippi Today newspaper. The new chief of police in Meridian asked for the murder charges to be reduced to manslaughter with culpable negligence, claiming they don't have enough evidence to get murder charges through a preliminary hearing. Both Judge R. Jones and the family refused. So despite the warrants, neither Whitley Goodman or Dylan Swearingen have been arrested or charged in Christian's death. We feel like it's going to take someone outside the state of Mississippi, someone who isn't in politics and isn't in, um, has nothing to lose or gain uh, in order to get to the bottom of this. In our own effort to get to the bottom of this, we hit the back roads of Meridian in search of Dylan and Whitley. Hello. Hi, is Whitley here? Uh-uh. Okay, do you know where she is? Work. Oh, wow, on a Sunday. We're gonna go try Dylan. I'm told from our source that um, he drives his girlfriend's car and it's been spotted at his girlfriend's house. So we'll try that now. Finally, we spotted Dylan. Hi. I'm with a show called Crime Watch Daily. We're doing a story on Christian and we just wanted to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, just a few minutes of your time. You really wanna have your voice on this story. That was a no. Hi. Yeah. We just want to give you an leave. opportunity to have yeah, your voice heard. Y'all can leave. OK, but oh, listen. Yeah. Right now. Right, I understand, Dylan. Right but we want leave. you to tell your side of the story, to say what you have to say. But can What's you just, again? Melissa. Melissa what? McCarty, it's with McCarty? Crime Watch Daily. OK, right. leave. You Get know, there's an arrest warrant. And leave. OK, we'll leave. Not surprisingly, Dylan was unwilling to discuss his friend's suicide. Y'all show up at my house again. It's gonna get bad, I promise. What do you mean by that? Because the family says you're threatening and harassing them. Are you threatening us? It's y'all stay right here. Have you been making threats to the family? Stay right here. Their daughter or the stay mom, right Ray? Stay right here. That's how you gonna get out of me, stay right here. Do you understand how important it is? for you to say what you have to say with the accusations against you. You have a lot of weighty accusations. Oh, really? I mean, there's an arrest warrant. There's an arrest warrant. What's against me? Arrest warrant for what? For what? Murder. Murder? For his death. OK. You and Whitley. Stay right here. It's you and Whitley. You know that. Stay right here. You know those exist. Wouldn't you want to clear that up? Unfortunately, Dylan seemed more content to wait on a local security guard. Would you say anything to the family if they wanted to hear it from you? We took a hint and left, but our efforts weren't completely wasted. I wasn't able to connect with Whitley Goodman in person, but she did have a lot to say to me during a late night Facebook conversation. According to Whitley, she has, quote, never even been named a suspect the arrest warrants they claim are out there have never been activated, but were simply written up to shut Ray up. In fact, Whitley claims that all Ray has done is, quote, publish lies and try to get money and attention from her own son's death. As for the forensic evidence that concludes Christian's death was homicide, she said, quote, if anything was up with the ballistics or the body positioning, I would be in jail. She goes on to write, 
I can tell you he killed himself and so can his threatening texts while he was states away. After refusing my request for an interview, she went on to emphasize that, quote, there are not active warrants for me and Dylan. If you publish that, it's false information. And finally, her parting shot at me. There's a special place in hell for people like you. For now, the Andriacchio family is waiting to find out whether or not the U.S. attorney will agree to review and hopefully prosecute the case. And quite frankly, I just want her arrested. I truly grieve for this family. The murder or the death, no matter what, of your child, there's a life before that day and there's a life after that day. And you throw in that he just wanted to end his own life, that's just beyond the pale. They've done all this with this case. We've got experts, nationally known experts, saying that this is a staged suicide, this is a homicide. What else have they done with other cases? You know, if they'll do that with this, with us fighting this hard, you know, what, what have they done that nobody's called them on? We need help around here, I believe. Now we want to hear from you. After hearing all the evidence in the case, do you believe Christian's death was a murder or suicide? Sound off right now on our Facebook page.